The NHL announcing today that the draft lottery will go on May 10th. So while some of you are cheering on your team in the Stanley Cup playoffs, others will be watching with a very keen eye. And nothing in life is certain, but Sam, come on, it's still Shane Wright's draft, right? Well, CC, exactly. But the gap is shortening. We had Yuri Slavkovsky in second place last month. This month here in the April rankings, we have a new number two. We'll get to that in just a little bit. But this is a really important time of year for the scouting community. Why? Well, you have the CHL going into its playoffs, the Quebec League a little bit behind, but they are getting there slowly. So those are important viewings for scouts to get a look at players in high leverage situations when the pressure is on. And then, of course, you have the under-18 World Championships, which begins Saturday. Canada up against the U.S. The U.S. are the favorite. Canadians are the defending champions. So you have all of the best players that are draft eligible in one event, other than, of course, the Russians and the Belarusians. So an important time of year for the scouting community. They are spread out all over the place and really excited about moving towards that May 10th draft lottery and, of course, to July 7th and 8th in Montreal for the draft itself. Now let's get to our top 10 for the April rankings. It starts with Shane Wright talked about him Logan Cooley is our new number two more on him a little bit later we move down into the five hole right shot defenseman Simon Nemich playing with Slovakia and then Brad Lambert Joaquin Kemmel and Connor Geeky rounding out the top 10 from the Winnipeg ice let's get back to number one Shane Wright going back about two months there was a lot of talk is he competing is he passionate about the game well he battled through COVID and guess what ended the year with 94 points 1.5 points per game for the Kingston Frontenacs, the captain will get his first opportunity to play in the postseason with the Fronts. We'll see how far he can take that team, a talented group indeed. As we move to our number two selection, we're going to talk a little bit about Logan Cooley from the United States National Training and Development Program. Had the opportunity with Jason Bukla of the Pro Hockey Group and our scout here at Sportsnet to stay and watch him for three days in Plymouth against USHL competition. This guy might be the most dynamic player in the draft. He's got that quick twitch muscle, the ability to play the short space game, and a guy who plays with a little bite. 99 points this year. He'll have an opportunity to lead the U.S. at the under-18 Worlds as the favorite. A lot of pressure there, but I think he's up to the task. He said to somebody, hey, you had me a little bit too low in March. Well, not anymore. You're number two, Logan Cooley. Let's move down the list to our number seven selection, Jonathan Lekiramaki. And here's a guy here who is a snipe show extraordinaire. Playing in the J20 League, 35 points in 26 games. You go to the SHL, the guy had seven snipes over there. Now he's been out of the lineup since March. He has enough currency built up, though, as you see his ability to shoot the puck from the right side. Simply unbelievable, and he can do it all over the ice. But this guy's calling card, no doubt, his great shooting ability. And guess what? We've got boots on the ground for you in Germany. Jason Bukla of the Pro Hockey Group will be there scouting all of our European players, the U.S., Canada, bring back some great scouting reports. In the meantime, for the rest of the list, check out sportsnet.ca.